here. We'll write it in the cut in the morning. Good. I thought we were going to write all night the way you were going. I don't want to admit to hearing what I think I hear. Besides girls, are those ballet dancers? Oh, well, I've seen ballet dancers at the Turkish Delight Saloon in San Antonio. Ballet, not belly. Oh, I've seen longer skirts and shorter legs. Yeah, it's a big thing in Europe. Very popular. My lodge is going to be very popular in Texas too. Mm -hmm. Lucky break running onto him like that. Looks like a real old desert rat the way he's dressed. Having them burrows and all. Mm. Well, the way he's thrown that gold around, he's one who found what he was looking for. He must have taken off as we turned our backs. Yeah, but he was going to take us into the mountains. Yeah, except it must be the one thing in the world he's most afraid of. Well, we ain't after any gold. You don't know that. Well, what do we do now? Well, wait till sunrise, ride up those dead mountains, see if we can find a pass ourselves.
That's a way in. Wide enough for the hood to get through. The ground don't look too bad. Well, so far, so good. Of course, we haven't gone far yet. Uh. Hold it. Maybe we ought to try and make it a run for it. Oh, this child ain't about to try and outrun bullets. Not all these mountains except the people in them. Raise your hands. Get off the horses. Where's he going for help? They don't need any more help as far as I'm concerned. Why do you come to Dead Mountains? We look for water and a pass for our cattle. There is a pass. There is water. But they are both sacred to the Indians. You have come this far. No, father. We've got 3,000 head of cattle. They have to have water. If your people need cattle, maybe we could trade. You're letting him go into the canyon? Mr. McKay! Hey, McKay! He's a white man. You're letting him go in the canyon. No white man rides to dead mountains. What are you talking about? He's riding right in there. I see no one. Let's be joking or something. You're afraid to go back where you came from. What about our guns and horses? We don't want to break any of your tribal customs. Maybe it's only this pass that's sacred. This pass and all passes. Well, maybe it's only this part of the range. Every mountain in this range, every rock, every tree, every blade of grass is sacred to us and to our ancestors. You know, I might believe that if it wouldn't. Uh, never mind. We wish you no harm. No blood has been drawn. But do not return. Because if you do, there will be harm and blood will be drawn.
That's the pass I had in mind. Ah, good. More than wide enough for the cattle. It don't stay that wide all the way in. The going gets pretty rough for quite a while before we get the water. It seems like it always does. That's that eastern girl, isn't it? Yeah. Pick up her horse, Turner. with them. We're riding after them. Mine's working out, Benny. Yeah, just like you planned. Yeah, well, let's go. We wouldn't want them to get lost. Oh. 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 I suppose I behaved foolishly. It was probably just a coyote or something. Well, it was just a mountain lion. For somebody who scares easy, you're sure getting some strange places. Oh, I... I just felt like being alone. Felt like remembering my father the way he was the last time I saw him. He was very tall. Almost as tall as you are. And very gentle. He was educated in Edinburgh and was teaching in Boston. He was a geologist and a mining engineer. Everyone said he had a brilliant career ahead of him. Well, he took me on an excursion one day. Left my mother alone in the cabin. And the lamp overturned and the cabin burned down. He started drinking very heavily after her death. I guess he felt guilty about leaving her alone. And then he gave up his teaching job and sent me to live with an aunt and uncle. And then he just disappeared. He went west. There were a few letters at first, but then none at all. What makes you think he's in Texas? Well, I got a letter from him two months ago. You mean he told you to come out here alone like this? Oh, no. He just wanted to know if I was happy and if everything was all right. But in it, he mentioned the dead mountains. And I found out where they are, and here I am. Did uh, he say you? What he was doing in the Dead Mountains? Well, he said that a man who had befriended him was using his training and knowledge. It sounds like it could be McKay. He didn't say. He could use his experience as a geologist, help him find the ore, and then as a mining engineer to help him get it out. Mr. Favor, you've just got to help me find him. Look, I've got to get a herd through. You took me with you, and you didn't have to. Yeah, I know. Are you sorry for me? Let's say I made a mistake. Why are you so afraid of being human? The only thing I'm afraid of is not getting the job done I'm paid to do. Perhaps I could pay you too. I've already been hired. So I guess we'd better get back to camp. a wild and turbulent crossing, and the waves of the Atlantic Ocean were rising mountains high. While our little ship was being tossed about, 
like a like a leaf on a waterfall. But did McKay get scared? Did McKay tremble? He most certainly did. <laughs> <laughs>